It doesn't look like real lot. food. It looks it like doesn't. a real burger. Okay. <laughs> That's a big bite. Morning, everyone. Hi, guys. I'm Nina. And I'm Randa, and welcome back to another Car Rides. Okay, guess what? We have some big news. What's the big news? Tomorrow, we are going to- Hawaii! Hawaii! No, we have bigger news, but we can't no, share that yet. Actually, we have some extremely, extremely huge news. The first errand we need to run is dry shampoo. Shampoo poo. -poo. <laughs> I'm gonna pull over so that we're not texting and driving, but there's something I wanted to read to you from a dating app. He said, Honestly, I hate small talk over this app. Just going to be honest with you and say I'm only here because it's been a dry few months oh. and I'm looking for a casual sex partner. If you're interested, then we can meet each other, but if not, we should just save ourselves the time. How gross is that? I mean, uh, I guess good for him. Let me see what he looks like. He's attractive, he, but ew. I mean, good for him, I guess, for being honest and not wasting your time, but like, what? Oh, yeah, he's really attractive. Oh, but he's nobody's 22 and he's an actor. That. Disgusting. Usually people with headshots on these apps, I'm like, it's a no. <laughs> did you reply? No. I did not reply. I can open your eyes like that guy on Randa's hinge. Don't think I fit in at this party. Cause I don't care when I'm with my baby. So, where are we going? To Rite Aid. Rite Aid. Oh my gosh, it's such a fabulous day today. But this is the best brand. Stinks the least. It is called Batiste. Should we just get two? Yeah. Okay, now it's time to get some food. Should we go to Trader Joe's or should we go to Whole Foods? Whole Foods! Whole Foods! There's oh my gosh, Whole Foods! Guys, there's literally a brand new Whole Foods right by our house. It is spectacular. It is amazing. Everyone will be excited. Who doesn't love Whole Foods? Who doesn't Foods? love Whole Foods? This, this is such a pop in Whole Foods. There's a bar. Not that we care. There's a legitimate cool. bar. There's lots of cute people. And you, I was about to say, there's a lot of cute people coming through. So I put this? let's go. The night, dancing around your kitchen in the refrigerator line. This person on Instagram asked. Close your eyes. Close put your, your arms up. Okay. Put you're going to tickle up. me. I know you're gonna tickle me. Is Rana ticklish? They said how ticklish. <laughs> Very. <laughs> no, you're not ticklish. I thought. I well, it's right. I don't That's know. That's why I had to surprise you. <laughs> oh, guys, Rana got laser under there. Look oh at, yes, look guys, at look at these beautiful pitsies. On our our ASMR <laughs> channel, people are, like love our armpits for some reason, and they're like, "Can you do more videos with your armpits?" And I'm like, "Sure." Thumbnail. No, I'm just this kidding. Is our okay, actually, guys, if you didn't already know, Nina and I have a second channel called, it's ASMR, called ASMR Twins, Twins and you, I'm sure you know what ASMR is, but basically, we're whispering and doing ASMR and stuff like that. Like, you know what I mean? Whispering. Paying attention to you guys. Anyway, it's so much fun for us because we just really just are our genuine selves. Where are we going? Right, right now, we're wait. just super fake, right? We're not being no, ourselves. No, we are, but it's just a new, it's just different. exciting right. thing. So, subscribe. We'll link it in the description. We've arrived at Whole Foods. How is it? Tastes like Sprite. So guys, the other day I actually tried a clip bar. Uh, what was the flavor, Nina? Peanut butter. It was peanut butter chocolate chip flavor. And so now we're gonna show you guys how to make a more, a less processed version of a Cliff Bar. I mean, it's not a Cliff Bar, but it's still gonna taste yummy. And so I got some, oh wait, where's the, where's the peanut PB2? So I got this PB2 powder to give it a more, you know, healthier, it's definitely lower in fat, peanut butter, peanut butter flavor. And we'll show you guys how to make those later in the vlog. Now we're going to a place to get a burger. That's right, you heard right. The girls are getting a burger. We're getting a burger. So basically the other day I decided I wanted to have, well actually first you decided that you wanted to have a Cliff Bar. I don't even feel well, like I, I need some chocolate chips. I don't even feel like I need to address this in a video, like it's some big deal. But also I posted basically to my story that I had some guacamole and people were like, people shit Oh my God, I can't believe it. Like you should make a whole video. And I was just like, to me, it wasn't even a big deal that I had like a little bit of guacamole. And so I just 
I guess I just wanted to touch on that in, a vi in this video and we've talked about this in our book and we have a clear skin diet Facebook group if you've been following us you know we eat a very specific diet um, for those of you not in the loop but basically our skin has been clear for what five years now and if I have a little bit of guacamole or a little cliff just bar just before my period though <laughs> just it doesn't affect my skin these days and no. we've actually had people in our little pilot study that we ran who are now able to eat some fat in their diet and still maintain clear skin so once you kind of get the inflammation down it really just depends on how bad your acne is you can reintroduce some fats granted i'm still going to be you know 99.5 percent just clear skin yeah, diet exactly. and maybe uh, the occasional if i, I think feel like, like it once every six months know, i'll have a cliff bar i'm not even gonna you know calculate or worry about it if i want something then I'm gonna eat it. It's just one of those yeah. things. And to me, it's not a big deal. And people were kind of like freaking out of like, oh my God, like I can't believe it. But yeah, like I said, guys, it's not a big deal. So with that being said, we're gonna go to Veggie Grill <laughs> and try a burger. burger. Not even because I want it, like legitimately, I do not want this burger, but Ew. I just figured you guys would like to watch me eat it. <laughs> and that's the only reason I'm eating it. Maybe that's a weird thing to say. Maybe you don't care to see us eat a burger, but no, I think people do. It's <laughs> it's literally, I've never even tried the Impossible Burger because we've never had a desire to have anything like more processed that, you know what I mean? Like and I still really food. don't. And I really don't have the desire at all, even now, but we thought it'd be you know what? We thought it would be fun for a video. So let's go see how it tastes. Okay, so this person on Instagram asked, favorite traits in a bloke? Well, are we talking physically or mentally? First, let's talk about physically, and I then we'll like talk about mentally. I myself a six five. Sexy ass mother Well, in terms of looks, I like a rather tall uh, man with fit muscles. Um, obviously gotta be attractive, but Harder to find than an attractive man is what's on the inside. And honestly, as cheesy as somebody it sounds, likes to hang out. somebody who likes to hang out and feels like my BFF. If you're, it's like I'm looking on these apps and like, can you be my bestie? Could you be my bestie? You know, because if you're not best friends, what do you? What's, what, what's, what's the, the point? point? You know, you're just a hot face, and you know, there's a lot of that in LA. I want me a bestie. So you got to make me laugh, or that sounds as you know the cheesiest thing in the world, but. I, if I'm not laughing my ass off while I'm hanging out with you, it's not, it ain't it. Hopefully they're laughing too. Mm -hmm. And if you can't make them laugh, I'll be there to make them laugh since I'm super funny. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll just do a vegan Beyond Burger. It's vegan, right? It's all vegan, Randa. Did I not get the American cheese? I just never like vegan cheese, right? It's really good. I'm, I'm actually just get the cheese. I'll get the cheese. It's good, I promise. Okay. Legit, this smells like peanut butter. Let's go. Peanut butter? We got the veggie grill burger. I feel like people might think, oh my god, you must be so excited. No. I'm really not. I actually, I'm just genuinely happy eating the way I do. But that being said, let's that being said, let's this look at this. Burger. Whoa, it smells good. Reminds me of like a dog food. It's smell. a Krabby Patty. It's so big. Reminds me of dog food. It doesn't look like real lie. food. It looks it like a real burger. Okay. <laughs> Why am I nervous? It's just like it looks just not typical. It's a big bite. <laughs> Is it good? That seems like a rude response. I don't like the cheese. The vegan cheese. Mm. The patty is good. I don't like the cheese. You know what I mean? It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see right. if I can get a bite without the cheese. Or I just want to try like, the burger part. It's too oily. I don't like it. Sorry. Too oily for my taste. I think that honestly, the burger part it. tastes pretty wholesome. Yeah, the burger part's good. I'm all for you know meat free alternatives and I think it's great. Do I think this is something that somebody should eat every day? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> but, you know, good. It actually tastes pretty wholesome. Do we have, you know, but I'm not it like- It does, it's pretty good. I'm not like, oh my God, this is the best thing in the world. No, like really I, I genuinely like the food I eat I though. think the veggie burgers that we make are just as good. Yeah. But that's but, is good. Woohoo, try it out guys. Wow, I'm impressed. I think, I think it was good. Yeah. Like seriously. 
It, it, it reminded me of my childhood. Yeah. Like, did you feel nostalgic when you ate that? Let me have another bite. The ranch, maybe it's the ranch dressing that's too much. Hold on. It might be that, yeah. It's the ranch dressing. Oh. It just it tastes, tastes, it's not tastes what I'm used to. Kind of healthy though, you know? It does it, though. It, it, it's, it's, I thought it was going to be like worse. Yeah, cool. But it does have an interesting aftertaste. I feel like I want to brush my teeth. Me too. I don't feel like I'm depriving myself of anything. I'm just genuinely used to eating the way we do. No, I literally never crave. I never food. think to myself like I'm abstaining from a certain food group. Like, oh no, I, I can't eat that because of it's gonna make, make my skin bad or anything like that. I'm just genuinely used to eating the way I do. You know, there's an in interesting phenomenon I learned about called the ego trap. Nina, do you know what that is? Oh uh, yeah, Doug Lyle. Talk Doug about Lyle. There's a podcast that we both really like to listen to called called Beat Your Jeans, and he also wrote a book or co-wrote a book called The, the Pleasure, Pleasure Trap, Trap, which is one of my favorite books, guys. You should check it out. But basically, the ego trap is when you're too much of a perfectionist. You just give up entirely because you're like, oh, why bother? And I don't feel like I have that for my diet, but I definitely do relate to that in the sense of, oh, that video is not good enough or, you know, I don't like the way that song came out. Like, let's just not never put it out. But if you get stuck in that trap, you never actually let yourself produce anything that's gonna get better over time. Is that and what the ego trap is? I it thought. can be the ego trap, The yeah. ego trap is also, like he, he gave an example of when, I don't know, having like the best school, like the best private right. school, or like having the best car, or having the best house, or whatever. The, the, I thought yeah. that's the ego trap too, that you just need like enough and not like if it too much of anything is is bad i guess that makes sense too and maybe i'm using a different comparison but i guess that could also be applied to your healthy eating and personally i would rather just go a hundred percent in eating you know a diet especially if you have something like acne or you yeah. have you know a, a health problem like type 2 diabetes or, or hypertension like binge eating or if problem. you have like a binge eating problem or just some sort of health problem i say go 100 percent but also i guess the point of this video is you know maybe if you are craving a burger if you want it feel free to do it not that you need us to tell you that um i just personally don't crave them but you know but yeah if you want to try it say burger do you mean veggie burger i mean veggie burger of course guys <laughs> vegan vegan okay in case you guys wanted to see what i'm really eating for lunch Rice beans and I put in some cut up cucumber. cucumber and it gives it this fresh crispness. Can't go wrong with this. Honestly, I like this better than the burger. What is this? These are my basically it's just a cup of oats and a bunch of dates. Okay, so they're little cookies. A little bit of water. And I'm gonna take this PB2 powder and it's gonna taste like a cliff bar. Get that peanut butter flavor. Wait, that might be That's too a much. lot, Nina. Look at Willie's got some red in his beard, and that means we might have a ginger. Nieces and nephews. You know, nieces and nephews. All right, let's I think if I had a ginger kid, it'd wait, be wait. so cute. It'd be good if you put it in the fridge. Are you gonna eat it? Yeah. How is it? Mmm. Mmm. It tastes like real peanut butter. Wow. It's really good. So I think best bet is to freeze these. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm, I'm gonna freeze mine. Mmm. This is the first time you've had avocado toast in, what, five years? Yeah, I just decided I wanted to have it. I already ate some of it. Mmm, it's good. It's good? I like it. Better than the burger? So much better than the burger. I think a funny thing I hear people saying is like, you need fats for brain, for your brain health, or otherwise you're gonna have brain fog. I just wanna say, I didn't eat that avocado because I have brain fog or anything no. like that. I literally we just wanted fog, it for the taste. We have brain fog like 24 seven. No, we, we don't. don't. I don't know how to do anything. We literally. Guys, we don't even edit our own videos. We do nothing. I don't read all day. No, I'm just kidding. Literally, I never get brain fog. I, I, I don't know why that's a thing. <laughs> And I'm also not eating avocado with the thought or the intention of, oh my gosh, now this is, I'm so much healthier now that I'm having avocado. No. I think you can be perfectly healthy without the avocado. Um, I just genuinely just like the taste and wanted to have a little treat. Morning, everyone. We're in Hawaii. Hawaii. It's, it's actually 7 a.m. Well, that's like 10 a.m. LA time. I don't, anyway, we just woke up probably like 10 minutes ago, just popped on this hat, you know, looking Slipped super fly. Outro. It's been like a week since I washed my hair. Anyway, shower. I really need to shower. Anyway, just wanted to pop in and say we are in Hawaii. We are gonna be making more Hawaii videos, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell, all that good stuff, and look at our view. This is what we're working with, a little preview of the house tour. House tour, oh, it's beautiful. Give it a thumbs up if you want uh, daily Hawaii videos or a lot of vlogs. Bye. Aloha.